Here's how to get audited by the EDD, California EDD. Three ways that would trigger an audit. The first is hiring independent contractors, a lot of independent contractors, and find a lot of 1099s and not having any W-2s. EDD looks at that, and if, for instance, you have a business generating $2 million of revenue and you have no employees, and you have a lot of independent contractors, it's gonna give rise to the question of, well, how's the company able to operate with no employees? If you have a corporation, you're required to report wages for the officer who's usually the owner of the company. Just pay careful attention to that and make sure that you pay yourself enough. If you're an officer of a company, that has to be based upon what we call uh, the reasonable investor test. How much would a reasonable investor pay for your services performed for the company? And on line 20 of your federal income tax return on the 1120, the S-Corp return, is officer compensation. If that's blank, you're going to want to fix that. Now, whether you go and amend a return from a prior year is not the scope of this discussion. Definitely want to have that conversation with your CPA or a tax attorney because that could give rise to an IRS audit. The second way that you can get audited by EDD is if you file a W-2 and a 1099 for the same worker, okay? Or you have some workers who are being paid as W-2 employees and some workers who you're filing a 1099 and, and being reported as independent contractors, and they do the same thing. Or maybe the same person received both a W-2 and a 1099 for the same year, or maybe you switched them from a 1099 to a W-2 in two different years. All these things give, give rise to questions about how a, an individual or a group of people who do the same activity are being classified two different ways. And this is a really big issue right now in California. It's been a hot topic since at least 2017, 2018, the new law that came out in January 1st, 2020 is AB5, strictly targeting companies who hire independent contractors. So the, the standards are, are, have definitely increased. There's a potential on the federal side that California's law could be implemented almost identically with the three-prong test. So pay attention to that. Make sure that you clean that up. Uh, and at least if there is justification for it, have that documented. So if you do have an EDD audit, you're ready to go and you can provide the legal factual and documentary evidence to show that you're correct. I'm John Milikowski, founder of Milikowski Tax Law.